Hello again, Justin. So, um, so here's the thing. In the 70s, uh, in the, uh, the, the comic series, the story arc I told you about with Flora Hundul that I thought was only, um, well, well, I thought it was four issues. It's actually only three issues, so that's, that's these. Then, in the, then the next Phantom Zone story arc, which I thought was actually three or four issues, is only two issues. That, that's these. I, um, both of them involve fan, the Phantom Zone, so I thought, um, I mean, Phantom Zone villains, so, so I thought I would, I would go into each of them. Um, I'll open them up and show you some of it, but before that, I, want, I remembered something here. Um, so, you know, when you buy books, maybe you haven't realized this because a lot of Americans don't, but when you buy books or novels or even comic books, they usually will say, like, let's say, 80 cents American, $1 Canadian. Um, you know, it's a bit more in Canada. Uh, well, comics didn't have that. So, basically, the comic book... Um, uh, people, be, the people selling comics, they got a little, I don't, want to, I don't want to say shafted, but they didn't charge as much for the comics because the cover price was a cover price. They didn't have a Canadian cover price. So, um, you know, the price there of 35 cents, it was like that, uh, actually, this is when it first went up, from 30 cents in 1977 to 35 cents. Anyway, um, it was the price in Canada, so it was, so the, the, the dollar wasn't quite as strong, so... It was probably like, let's say, 35 cents, might, might be 25 cents American, so it was a little bit cheaper. But actually, this was the time, I remember, okay, so at 60 cents, they started actually, um, when you bought American comics, they were printed in Toronto, and they had the Canadian price. So, I don't know if you can see that there, but it says uh, 75 cents Canadian. I don't think I can actually make that visible. There we go. 75 cents Canadian. So... Um, <laughs> that one went up quite a bit. I wasn't really fond of that. But anyway, that's nothing to do with the story, so let's go on to the story. So, like I told you, in the first of the three issues here, um, uh, Superman, um, he encounters, uh, he doesn't know what it is. It's a phantom. This is when, um, Flora can actually go from the phantom zone back to our dimension, um, interchangeably at will, uh, due, due to the artifact that I told you about. So, this is, this is what I was telling you. You know what? I'm going to have to probably use the our camera that can zoom in closer. I just realized, I think when I go too close, it does, it's not in focus. So, okay. I'm going to get going. Um, this, is, this is video number one on the comics. I will show video number two when I can, show the, uh, when I can focus a little closer on the comics, okay? So, bye for now. 